change reality for the person God. Okay, perceiving is different. So would you say that God, do you believe he has a beginning and end? If you, if God wants you to perceive as a man because God wants to interact with you some some, some particular type of way. So for, for you, that person is actual real person, right? Yeah. It's a God that is like uh, playing with the reality for you because he created the reality. Okay, so you're saying uh, he can make you perceive him like that? Okay, but what I'm saying is, within his uh, nature, can he become a man? Whole like of you? God become a man. Like me and you, like flesh. That means then God will die as well, that's not possible. Okay, good. All right, so we understand, okay. so I understand what you're saying. Okay, so you negate that to him. Okay, uh, interesting. So, um, anything else in Sikhism, like for example, do you have prophets? Who do you follow? Who are, who, has, has God sent messengers to you? Yes, we have uh, okay. uh, 10 gurus. Okay. Then, then we have saints from uh, the, that time, yeah. uh, which are also, and then uh, we have 11 Guru as our scripture. Oh, so the 11th Guru is a scripture? That's our Guru, yeah, okay. eternal Guru, because, because it's very important to put a stop, because you know, I'm from India, so you can find a lot of uh, fake gurus as well who yeah. have like little bit of knowledge, yeah. influence, and charm to their personality, yes. and people will start following them. So yes. At that time, because Sikhism is not very old, <laughs> so at that time it's very important to put a stop at the guruship. So okay, interesting. Now, so, so now book the scripture is the guru itself. Now nobody can claim oh, ah. we are the next one. Interesting. So we we have, for example, the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. He is the final messenger. So it all stops with him. Yes, stop He's, is very important. Yes, it? exactly. Because otherwise we have like people come. who are disbelievers, like Qadianis. They believe there's another prophet that came out of Prophet Muhammad. Exactly. Right? exactly. So we have to have like he is the final messenger. He's the final. Okay, interesting. Uh, so these gurus, do they have divine nature or are they just human beings? What's divine nature. Divine. Like, do they claim like, for example, we have the I don't know the the, the, the spirit of God. Or we can do divinely things or, you know, do people come to them for blessings or, for example, when you pray, do you pray to God? So when you pray to God, do you mention the Guru? Do you say, oh, for example, do you ask the Guru or do you ask God? Both. Okay, good. So how? Tell me. So for example, let's say you want... Uh, it depends upon the situation. How old are you? Uh, if you're feeling like really weak, then you can say, Guru, help me. Okay, so so, so one second. How Guide old are you? Me. Okay, all right. Why, okay, why do you ask guidance from a guru? Why not from God? I'm just trying to understand. You then then I'll both, explain you to you. Can ask, yeah, you can why, okay, why both? Because what does one have that the other doesn't? So, it's like saying, why do you ask guidance from a math teacher? Why not math itself? Not, not necessarily, because, you know, a math teacher will say there's, there's, there's objective, there's reality when it comes to math. Four plus four is eight. Yeah. Math is reality, God yeah. is reality. Guru yes. learned about God and Guru is teaching everybody. Good. You can ask for anybody. Okay, good. So this is where in Islam, this is why we believe Islam came to um, purify monotheism. Monotheism because there's a lot of people, many people believe in one God. Many people, the Christians, they say we believe in one God, but they say that Jesus is God, the Holy Spirit is God, the Father is God. You go to the Hindus, they say, no, we believe in one God, you know, but then we have these demigods, etc. Uh, the yeah, reason why... Exactly, God. exactly. I don't think you guys have demigods. You don't have that in your religion. No, we don't Okay, have so that. what we say but is for... I know a little bit about dharmic religions. So. Yeah, exactly. For in our religion, Islam, just so I explain a bit from our perspective, okay. Islam came to get man rid of any kind of demigod, any kind of association to anything besides God. So we have this pure monotheism, unaltered, which is that we worship God alone. We don't go through the Prophet Muhammad. We don't go through any prophet. No, no, not, not worship. Okay, I know you don't. But which is Im what is important? Guidance. Good, okay. So what we say is this. Can the Guru hear you? Can Guru hear us? Yeah, because you believe he's dead. They, they are dead. They've, they've passed away. Yes. So do you believe they have attributes of hearing you? Yes. Okay. So what we see is in this very instant, now that attribute, uh, is it given to them by God? Who gave them that ability to hear you when they've died? Is it from God or is it like, is it in your religion? Nobody gave them. They had that. Okay. They had that. So for example, okay. Why don't you have that? Why do they have that but you because don't I'm have not that? enlightened. Okay, good. So are you saying that anyone that's enlightened has the ability to hear after they die? Yeah. Okay. So um, do they have the power to also help you, aid you? Yes. In what ways? Is there always or some ways? Like, 
is it always yeah like, like, like for example can you go and ask them for anything or something something small maybe something big or is it you can ask them for guidance that's it just you guidance can't ask them for like oh guru please give me a big house okay you can ask about guru is there to teach about god that's what you can okay, ask good. them if you ask something else then you're not interested in god you're ask, you're interested in something else okay like any powers all right so else, so will say go so are you married no okay so if you wanted to get married would you go to guru or would you go to god for if you for if you said nobody oh, why would i go to anybody if i want to oh, okay, okay. i'm facing a problem a problem let's say a problem no, no, for example look anybody yeah. can find someone but the point is we believe that our relationship in islam with god is that i can't say okay if i want i can just go find a girl yes it's not impossible but if i want a good wife somebody that fears god somebody that is good for me i believe god will help me find her it's not something that I can just do by myself. I have to put the effort and I need help from God. It's balanced. Yeah? For example, I go in my car, I put my seatbelt. And I put my trust in God. Yeah? But I can't say I'm going to have no seatbelt. I put trust in God. No, that's, that's silly. I can't go to the top of the building and say, I believe God will protect me and I jump. I will die. So we, we, so we put our trust in God and we do our bit. So the reason why I'm asking you this is for a big problem and you need help. For example, let's say you are... Somebody took a knife you're out. You're gonna die one day, right? Yeah, we're all gonna die one day. Yeah. yeah. So even if you trust, put your trust, you're gonna die one day. One of course. Day, they're gonna come when yes. you'll be like, I'm dead. Yes, we accept that because we believe in a hereafter. So you never know when that day is gonna yes, come. Yes, exactly. Even if you put a seatbelt on. Exactly, because so well, this is people dying from cancer, heart people, attack, yeah. accident. Exactly. These are just excuses. That's the day your death was written. Right, yeah. That's just an excuse. It doesn't mean that's the reason you died. So what I'm saying is this. So if you're in a situation where your life is in danger, would you call out to the guru or would you call out to god at that point at I'll that point so that if my life is in situation depends how my thoughts work if it's like Im, uh, impulsive i might call my mom who knows no, no. But, 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 you, but you know your mom can't so help you can't, yeah okay so if somebody's got a gun so i if in a situation my mind is working yes. I, yes. i'll ask guidance from guru guidance like what yes. to do yeah and then of course i will expect god to help me in that okay so the, the reason i'm asking this, i'm trying to understand why do you not go to god but go to guru i'm just trying to understand why not god what but does the guru have, have that god doesn't have so if it depends on what level of spirituality you are how much you have learned how much faith you have on god right now because when you are with guru because for example if you're learning maths i would say yeah. Initially, you need to go to your tutor with doubts and questions and yeah. all the situations. Mm. But there comes a time when you don't need your teacher, and then you can directly be less involved in deep mathematics. Yeah. The same way, like if you are, if I'm learning, you ask me particularly me, right? Yeah. What I will do. Yeah. So right now, it's subjective. For example, yeah. right now, I need guidance from guru or anything because if I see something wrong, right? I think that is wrong and it's troubling me. Yeah. So I would ask not guidance from God. I can, yeah. but there is Guru as well, right? Okay. Straight who has knowledge of God, so I can ask him as well to make me understand this thing about God. Okay. So who's more knowledgeable, God or Guru? Uh, who's more knowledgeable? Yeah. Who's the all-knowing, Guru or God? So uh, objectively, it's God. Okay. So then, why would you not go to the source of the information, but go to Guru? Like well, if humans can go to God like that, and then I think there is no need for religion. Okay, good. So this is where Islam comes in. That's what I want to try to explain. So that's why like Guru comes in as well. Okay. Okay. So what we're saying is this: we believe in Islam. We don't need any kind of intermediary between us and God. We don't need prophets. We don't need Are angels. Need Quran. No, no, no. Quran. Quran, Quran is Quran is the text revealed to the angel Gabriel through the Prophet Muhammad to that us. That is something, isn't it? No, no of course. But we believe that's the speech of Allah. That's the speech of God. That is something you... you yeah, mean, yeah, right? yeah. You know, you of course, of course. Go no, no, of course, of course. But what I'm saying is this. In Islam, the reason why the Quran was sent to us is to tell us that we can go to God directly. So the text that came is not actually it's between... Not direct. If you need something to tell you, you can do this, 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 and then you can... Okay, okay, something. good. We say it's direct because what God has done through the Quran is tell us information that I will respond to your call if you make pray for me. You're dependent on that information, right? That's from God, His speech. Exactly. Yes. You're dependent on that information. Yes, but that it's information is yeah, it's from Him. But I don't... I don't... The Quran is not a um, intermediary. I don't see it as... Like, if I get in trouble, for example, yes, I read it, that's information from God. 
But if there is no Quran, for example, I can pray to God. For example, let's suppose I don't have the Quran. I'm in the middle of the sea. If there sea. is no Quran, how would you know like how to pray properly? To yeah, no, 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 no. That's what I'm saying. Th those you things are anything true. Th that's that, yes, hundred percent. So the information is from God, and that information from God is telling us you don't go through prophets, gurus, angels, nobody. Pray to me directly. So the information that was sent, the Quran, yes, of course, it's a it's a guidance for us, yeah. However, same thing actually. Yeah, yeah, but the thing is that when we are in trouble, we don't say, okay, I, I have to pray to the Quran to go to God. The reason I'm not saying in okay. trouble, yeah, I have to pray to Guru. I can I can yes. ask guidance Good. for Guru, but then yes. of course pray for God. Okay, what the we're guidance saying. Is, guru is Good. knowledge. Okay. So Guru has a human form and Guru has a form of words as well as you can in, in yes. our scripture so there is Guru Haibani, the Bani Haibu, yes. that means What does that mean? Guru is knowledge not about God, Yeah. knowledge is Guru, right? Okay, that's yes. That's a human, so, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. What, that's why 11th scripture is it Guru, is guru. Itself, yes, because yes, that's yes. pure knowledge. Yeah, that's, that's fine, that I accept. If you said to me, when I'm stuck, I go to my Guru, the 11th Guru, which is my text, that's understandable because you can say, okay, that's from God. But when you say you go to your guru and you say he has the ability to hear you and ability to help you, we say that is shirk. You know what shirk means? Shirk is associating partners to God. So meaning that instead of just going to God for help and knowledge and aid, you have a sub-entity yeah, that you go to, which we class that as shirk because the pagan Arabs in Arabia We don't need to do it always, it depends on where you are Yeah, we say in Islam, just from our perspective we, we are not allowed to do that at all Because what happens is we are giving the qualities or the attributes that belong to God to the human being We have that qualities anyways yeah. Yeah. That Truth is attribute of God, right? Don't you say truth? Yeah you, you're, using, you're demonstrating an attribute of God Yeah we have those attributes, isn't it? No, we, we, we say that, for example, we have, actually, for example, like, uh, I, I exist. Uh -huh. Does good exist? Hopefully. Okay, yeah. but it's not the same existence. Do huh? you get it? Sorry? Okay, I exist, God exists. So but it's, it's, it's not the same existence. Fast for me. Sorry, so if I sorry, 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 sorry. No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So, uh, so, I exist and God exists, but even though it's existence, it is not the same existence. So, for example, I, I have knowledge, but God is the all-knowing. I can be wise, God is the all-wise. Do you get it? So I might have power, but God is the all-powerful. So the reason why Islam came down, just from our perspective, is that to rid, get rid of all kind of associations and partners with him. So we believe the only sin God will not forgive is if you turn to any other entity apart from God for help. If you turn for any other entity for thinking that they have a attribute to help you. No, but didn't God turn to Prophet you. Muhammad to help humanity? Like you, I chose you and you have, didn't God himself did that? Allah Allah chose the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Why did he to, choose someone to, else? Yeah, okay, because if we are humans, we would need a human being why, why to... Why not to, directly go to God? No, the reason we can, we can go directly to God, but in order for us to know what God wants, a messenger was sent. Now, the Prophet Muhammad, he brought us a message. He did not say, he did not, we don't go to him for help. We don't say like, for example, the Prophet has died. I don't pray to the Prophet. I don't say, oh Prophet, can you help me or can you aid me? Because we believe he has died. The Prophet is very much into your conversations and yes, philosophy. Yes, Whenever yes. you say his name, you say, peace yes. be upon, upon him. him. Yes. So yeah. he's still there, even he's gone, the message is there. The, 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 message, the, 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 the message is there, but that we don't... When you say peace yeah. be upon him, that is just a respect. We're, we're, making, we're, we're praying for him, we're saying peace be upon him. Person have peace? Yeah, yeah. Peace be upon him. That like if somebody die, your friend dies, you go and That's pray. That's like rest in peace. Yeah, rest in peace. Rest in peace. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. So so uh, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. He died. For example, there are some Muslims. They go to the Prophet's grave and they ask him. We say this is wrong. You get it. So so anyone that does it, it's not just like anybody that does it. For us, the Prophet came with a message. He's gone. I agree so, with that. Yeah, so, so it's just from our perspective. You ask anything. Yeah, exactly. Like for example, someone, like your mom and your father. Yeah, for example, if your father taught you something, let's say a craft, whatever it is, and he's the master of that, he is the best in the world. If you go to me, I'm just a beginner, I'm your, I'm, your, I'm your dad's student. If you come to me, your dad will see that as a sign of disrespect. I think there's a difference in philosophy here. Yeah. Basically, we don't go to Guru and ask things which we ask from God, like 
do this and that. Yeah. Right. But we go to Guru for our guidance, right? And I think uh, Guru has enough knowledge, enough knowledge yeah. to guide us throughout. Mm -hmm. There is no lack in knowledge. If you directly compare Guru with God, like exactly one on one, yeah. like one versus one. Yeah. Then of course I have to say what Guru says, like God is supreme, of course. God is supreme, yeah. Okay, but perfect. if I have to get guidance, yeah. I can any time, always, throughout the time, go to my Guru. Good, we'll perfect. always be there. Okay, we guidance. believe that, but we believe when the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was alive, we can go to him for knowledge, no problem. But when he died is the problem here. So when he dies, how am I going to him? And how do I know he's answering me? So when he was alive, of course, 100%. The way you go to your guru is the way we go to our Prophet Muhammad and ask him. And this happened many times. Companions went and said, oh, this happened. What do I do? That happened. Yeah, yeah. What do I do? So much. The whole Quran, there's so much stuff. Uh, God Almighty sent revelation. However, when he died, this is when we say he does not have the ability. He has died now. We believe he's alive in the hereafter, but not alive as a person. There's a difference of philosophy. It is, it is, it is, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I come from Dharmic religions. Okay. And you come from Abrahamic, right? Yes, yes, yes. So Dharmic religion has different philosophies. Yes. So we believe uh, after that, that is not the end. Yeah, right? same, same. So what's, okay, good. What's your belief after death as Sikhs? What do you guys believe? So as Sikhs, we believe depending upon our karma, like what we did. Oh, so you believe in karma? Okay, that's why I said Sikhism is a bit of a mix between Hinduism and uh, Islam. There's some, there's some elements there. You see it. Yeah. If you want to see the things that are common, then you can say it. It's a mix. There's, there's commonality, yeah. There's definitely. Yeah, yeah. In every religion, yeah, there, is, there, is, there yeah. is commonality from a yeah. previous one. Yes, yeah. Because there are commentary on it. Yeah. There are examples yeah. and parables that yes, are picked yeah. from it to explain it in yeah. a better way. Yeah. Because there can be something that people misunderstood, mm. but that should be right. Okay, perfect. So, so do you believe what happens to you when you die? So when, when you say it's a mix of it, yeah. that you can say it that way, but I don't believe it. And it's okay, sorry, sorry. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, after that, so depending upon our karma, what we did, how was our life? Yeah. So we have to, we have an account. So we have to. Oh, so you'll be accounted for. Do you believe in a day of judgment? Not that way. Oh, okay. believe judgment is happening right after that and every oh. time, right? For example, let's say you do something, let's say you punch someone right yeah. now. Yeah, there's a judgment. You might escape the police, but the judgment will, the, I see. the pressure on you to okay. escaping the police is a judgment itself. Okay, I see, I see. Okay, yeah. Judgment is happening all yeah. the time. We don't yeah. believe like there is a separate day for that. Oh, okay. So when you die, we it's believe. Common sense. Yeah. Sorry? It's common sense. It, no, it, it is, but there has to be a day of judgment as well. So. What's common sense, sorry? That, for example, if someone punches you, you can run from the police, but yeah, God, that's, that's God's justice sense. will be there, he's saying, that's common sense. Yeah. I'm glad you understood common sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. rare these days. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not so common. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, so, just with uh, we believe judgment is happening throughout yeah. the time, right? Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> so you can perceive it as common sense, but judgment is still happening. Okay, yeah. Uh, otherwise, common sense doesn't prevail. Yeah. Uh, the second thing is, after that, we can be reborn into a life. Okay. Uh, or we can merge back with God. So this is the difference in oh, philosophy. Oh, okay, interesting. This is the difference in mm. philosophy. Like okay. said, after that, Guru cannot hear you, cannot help you, cannot guide you. Mm. So this is why his ability to hear should go away. So I think this is why there is a difference in philosophy. The Guru, if Guru merged back with God, mm. uh, so he is there as well. So he can listen and guide and do whatever he wants. Okay, interesting. So after you die, you so either you merge with God, or you come back at if you're enlightened if you're enlightened yes. when you mean merge by god do you mean you become uh, uh, what it's do you mean a by very that? good concept so before i go into that thing where i'm not supposed to go in my yeah. religion oh okay all right kind of uh, That's fine. the reason is that because it's very stupid to describe and talk yeah. about God as yeah. a human because yeah. that's a really yes, yes, uh, yes. big goal that you give yes, over yes. yourself to talk yeah. about God. So yeah, but still I go into it. What no, 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 it's fine, it's fine. I, I respect that. Like, don't, don't go into so it. Yeah. I can go. Oh, it's up to you, it's up to you. <laughs> yeah, definitely because... Yeah. Uh, so, what was the question again? Why? So basically, you said you merge with God. Uh, the merging means like, for example, God is, uh, you know, how colorless soul uh, yeah. and everything, no description, yes, no yes. boundaries, no yeah. walls. We believe soul is the same way, mm. right? Uh, and merging with God simply means like your soul is reflecting uh, what, so it's turned into what God is. Mm. So okay. that doesn't change God, okay. right? But okay. since you are kind of 
reflecting all those attributes so it's called merging with god okay. but you, that didn't change the god but you changed from so in easy way let's say god is red yeah. red is the color of love let's say god is red yes. and let's say your soul is black yeah. just for say yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. your soul will turn into red as well so you I can't see. differentiate between what is god what is soul because it's mm. showing the same properties and okay attributes. okay interesting and if you come back to life again what well, how does that depend like what would you come back as so we can come back depending upon our karma we can come back as um, as a human as well as a non human as well oh, okay animal like like animal oh, okay. plant as well so it depends on our karma like what we get what we do how much we do so if you have sinned you come back as that's a different life and if you are enlightened you no, be, you if you merge are, with god if you're sin you can come back as human as well that's not okay but so if you've sinned so basically salvation to merge with god is your ultimate, ultimate yeah mukti ultimate okay end, yeah. so that's and 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 okay all right and when you merge with god it just means it's just you become a part not part of him but reflection or something like that yeah kind of so mm. you can't differentiate because you yeah. know, how would you differentiate between so okay i see i see okay all right it is yeah, yeah there is there is there is sanatan philosophy or dharmic or advait yeah uh, so sikhism is a dharmic religion so mm. dharmic religions are the one which follow which have this philosophy in mm. it interesting have you read the quran before have you ever like read it before mm. my friend gave me one book but that was not quran that was i think commentary by someone but i forgot the name do you, do you, do you want to read the quran like i can get you one copy it is um it's not problem but i'm just not uh, very much uh, consistent in like reading and okay. stuff okay that's fine no problem thank you yeah, i just like uh, can read definitely i have yeah. no problem yeah if you ever do come we'll give you one sure it was nice talking to you thank you very much it was, it was very enlightening yeah, thank, <laughs> you. Yeah. thank you very much to cause yourself to read oh sorry no no thank you very much thank you thank you take care yeah. take care take care no 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 this one oh sorry See, they've got it as well, bro. Ask them. Look, who got this? No, but he's using one. No, no, but ask him if you use two. Say, what's the thing? Ask him. Oh, this guy just got it. He doesn't even know anything. Oh, is it? Are you sure? Ask him. Maybe he might know. Where is he? Yeah. So, this is my camera, I know, but the, the rest of it, I just don't Yeah. That one. Yeah. What's this? I can no, keep I'll keep all of you in it. What? What? what, what <laughs> Allo, dude. Huh? Allo, dude. Oh, is it good? No, but no, all loving. Huh? All loving. No, 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 no. I'm talking about this. No, no, no. Mine is not good. Mine is not good. No good. This one is better. Who's channel is it? Sam Dawa. No, this one. Asif Dawa. Where is Asif Dawa? He just got a Dawa day, literally. Which one asked him? Which which mics does 